Brethren, I'm going to read some of Benjamin Fulford's credentials onto this video, just in case there are people watching that don't have the paperwork. This is Wikipedia. Benjamin Fulford, born 1961, as a, is a journalist and writer of Canadian, Polish, and Jewish origin, but lives in Japan. He worked into earlier for Forbes magazine in Asia, also writing for various magazines, mainly in Asia. In 2007, he accepted Japanese citizenship. I think that's so strange. He accepted Japanese citizenship. I think it should be that the Japanese accepted him. I don't understand that, but it's an interesting word. He accepted Japanese citizenship. He became very popular after an interview with the quite unattainable David Rockefeller in November 2007. In recent times, he has given many interviews and wrote about conspiracy theories, among others, receiving AIDS and SARS as um, others, AIDS and SARS are biological weapons designed to reduce population in Asia. The Secret Society of Red and Green, with six million members, including 1.8 million criminals and 100,000 professional murderers, has set Illuminati the has set Illuminati the ultimate condition that the Illuminati will be murdered if they do not break their, break their actions according to a plan to depopulate the earth. This was a, this was a translation, this, this appeared on Wikipedia in another language. So this is a translation from a computer, so some of the words don't make any sense. That's the accepted Japanese citizenship, that's the computer, and this is the computer here too. The Illuminati will be murdered if they do not break their actions according to a plan to depopulate the earth. This Chinese association has entered into an alliance with Russia. This Chinese association has entered into an alliance with Russia, China, India, South America, and is called Asian, A-S-E-A-N, free Muslim countries and Africa, which alliance unites in stopping the Illuminati plan. Recently, Fulford said that the U.S. is able to change the climate and using microwave energy to cre of create great pa power, bad English, cause earthquakes, including tsunami in Asia and cataclysms in Japan and China. I personally do believe that. This program in question is known as HARP. And this, and this, that was Wikipedia. In this article, it says, this is called the Info Underground. The Info Underground. If you're, in our, if you're in our group, you receive this PDFs of these in your, in your email. He is descended from the Fulford clan, one of Canada's blue blood families, although he also claims Polish Jewish ancestry on his mother's side. His popularity soared on the internet after he managed to conduct an interview with Rothschild. He says, a Chinese secret society with a membership of six million, okay. He said his great-grandfather claims was murdered. I wonder if that was here. He's, he's the great-grandson of George Tyler Fulford, who was at one time the largest single shareholder in General Electric and considered buying the early incarnation of General Motors and funding some of Nikola Tesla's inventions before he was killed in the first motor car accident in Canadian history. I guess it's another article where he claims he was murdered by, by the Rothschilds. Here it is. This is Benjamin Fulford. Who was he working for? I'm not really sure who he's working for. <laughs> Probably the aliens. Okay. Um, some of the some of his descendants believe he was. This is the great grandfather was actually murdered. This is George Taylor Fulford, okay, the, his great grandfather. Some of his descendants believe he was actually murdered. His great grandson Benjamin Fulford, former journalist for Forbes magazine in Japan, believes he was murdered in a conspiracy by the Rockefeller family who made millions with Standard Oil because he was going to fund Nikola Tesla's research into free energy. The driver, it is alleged, who caused the fatal collision but himself survived, 
had been given one week's notice at the time of the crash. And he wants to save the planet. We sort of talked a lot about that. Here's another one. Was Benjamin Fulford, can he really save the planet? And I have one, well, I have two more. This is what, what is the real truth about Benjamin Fulford. Uh, he's had m multiple interviews with this man, Rents. I listened to some of them, but some, some videos are not good to show to you all because they don't, the words are chopped. I, I like to give you a video that's going to flow if I do give you a video. Yeah, so it's in this it's in this one where he's threatening the Rockefellers, not the I'm sorry, not the what Charles, the Rockefellers. I'm telling the Rockefellers right now they can think of me as a ghost of G. T. Fulford come back over a century from four generations to get justice. So I believe he believes that he's all into Japanese culture, so he obviously believes in that kind of thing. And this is the last one. Doesn't really have a title other than Benjamin Fulford. Why did I give you this one? Oh, I gave you this one because there are, oh, this is on page two, many, many links to other articles that you might want to listen to or YouTube videos. Chinese society. He says the 9 11 terrorist attacks were an inside job carried out by the U.S. government as a false flag attack to bring about new imperial mobilization. He has stated that the U.S. government has a secret military program known as High Frequency Active or Rural Research Program that has been altering the climate. I have no problem believing that at all. Using high power microwave energy and causing earthquakes. Okay. Also, if, if you're interested in spending more time on the, I think it's the third page of these, okay, a very good interview. If you're researching any subject at all, on this, look, it's, it's non Christian, okay? They're called the Project Camelot. And then everything they have is old, but they did some fantastic interviews. I think in the 60s, the woman is the woman that does interviewing. Her name is Carrie Cassidy. If you ever feel led to investigate some non-Christian uh, phenomenon that, that are happening in the world today, you know we should want to know what's happening in the world today. It doesn't have to be Christian. Uh, but I, I find that when I would listen to Carrie Cassidy or anything like this, I'd have to stop and then go back to my Christian material. Otherwise, it would start to get to me. But there's some very interesting interviews that she has done. And she's very, um, she's really, she really just wants the truth. She's a very, very good interviewer. I don't know what ever happened to her and some man that she works with here. So, uh, what is this last thing? Several years ago, he said he had been contacted by members of the so-called Illuminati, and immediately thereafter was also contacted by members of an Asian secret society that had been reanimated after a long dormant phase in order to help fight this scourge of world power that now has become obvious to even the biggest fence-sitters in these other countries in the world. They refer to themselves as the red and the green, Fulford has since expanded his level of contact and work with others, not just the red and green anymore, but have formed a larger society, which he is now calling the Black Dragon Society. Huh? I don't know the difference between the White Dragon and the Black Dragon. I personally think that he's been contacted by alien forces, which we know are not aliens, that's what we're calling them. You see, whether no matter how smart you are, when it gets to spiritual events, you are as easily deceived as anybody else, you see. So I think he's been taken spiritually. That's my opinion. You know. So keep your eyes open. You don't know what you're going to hear on the TV when you wake up tomorrow morning. Okay, I've changed my mind about which other video I'll show you because I checked it out on the break. The one that I wanted to show you with David Wilcock, that, that particular interviewer, 
I, if you want to look yourself, you can. I, as I said, I try to give you videos that at least flow well. So we're going to listen to Benjamin Full for his latest interview, October 25th, 2017. Whether you love him or hate him, or believe him or not, he has a lot of information. That's just fascinating information that you could always check out yourself if you want to. So that is the video we will be watching. Benjamin Fulford, latest interview, April 25th, 2007. And the interviewer is, or the program is Secret Wars. I don't know the name of the interview. 